Show Express from Chauvet DJ is a great free tool that you can use to control a studio's lighting system. All lights require two things in order to accept the commands from a remote surface, such as a light board or computer software, power and control signal. Both can typically be daisy chained and pass through from fixture to fixture. Lighting control is made up of universes and a universe has 512 DMX addresses. Each address aligns to a function assigned to a specific lighting instrument. So if your lighting fixture is running in 10 channel mode and you set it to address 010, the next light should be assigned to an address of 020. So there are two things you need to do when setting up lights. Know their load so you can calculate how many can be connected to the same power circuit before overloading a breaker and understanding what mode or how many channels it will take up so you can properly address the unit. To use Show Express, you need an additional piece of hardware, a control box that can convert the data signal from USB to DMX so that it can communicate with the lighting fixtures. Lights get set up in the Editor tab. Inside the Editor tab is a sub-tab for fixtures. Based on the information you've learned about your fixture and the DMX address you've assigned it, you can set it up in this area to designate what DMX address it is using and what kind of fixture it is. Just right-click and add the fixture. Once you have your fixtures all mapped out within your lighting universe, it's time to visually arrange the layout to match your grid or stage on the section of the screen to the right of the fixtures tab. Notice that at any time, if you click on a light, you will see where it resides within your universe or plot. You can also group lights by holding command while right-clicking and assigning them to a new group. Here, you can see we have three designated set areas broken into talent lights and lights that can give colored looks. Next, you'll want to make scenes with every possible look or combination you might utilize. To do this, select the Steps tab next to Fixtures. Make sure to enable DMX control by selecting the DMX pinout icon on the right corner and ensure it lights up green. Once you see it green, that means its communication has been established with the USB adapter from within the Editor tab. If you are modifying an existing show, it's probably a good idea to make sure this same DMX control icon is disabled from the Live tab. Turn on the power to the lighting fixtures. In this example, the floor lighting fixtures are not connected to the non-dim modules located on the lighting grid, so they must be manually turned on in two areas beside each set. Then, slide up the faders for each light you want in your scene until you get the desired effect you're looking for. This could include any combination of faders that control things like the lens, iris, color channels, or similar. You may even have some non-dim modules that you need to energize by sending a command in order to power your lights, so make sure those are always on for each scene when programming too, or else your lights won't light. When finished, Use the Save Scene button to save your scene. There is Save As and Save Scene, in case you want to work off of a current scene, but save it as a separate one. Remember that when saving anything you touch is captured. One way you'll know this is by looking to see if the fader has lit up in green. Right-click on any fader and select Disable Channel to remove the attribute from being stored with your save prior to saving if you don't want the value to be captured in your scene. Once you are done creating the scenes or looks, it's time to turn off DMX control from the Editor tab and switch back over to the Live tab. The Live tab allows you to make button presets that are linked to the scenes you just stored. They can be organized into pages that feature these items as individual step scenes. The buttons that get created can then be assigned a color and aligned. In this example here, you can see we have everything from the ability to light a green screen to running lights for shows and individual color control over the colors and talent lighting for each of the studio sets. It's important to note that while color mixing is allowed, it's probably not a good idea because the lighting fixtures generally don't like to accept multiple levels of commands. You'll find the colors are not as brilliant and may not even display properly. 
Anything with a red border around it indicates that preset as being on or active. You'll also notice the color of the button becomes darker. Remember that for the Live tab to control the lighting, you need to actively have the DMX control enabled and lit up in green. Make sure you save your changes. The software will always load the last tab that was opened when it was shut down. So once your lighting presets are set, keep it set to the Live tab and this will make it easy to operate. Be sure to power off any lighting fixtures, such as the floor lights, before you leave.